Welch continues to throw in the Los Angeles bullpen. Watson hits it high in the air. For the center fielder, Ken Landro, this should do it. The Dodgers for the 1981 champions of baseball. <laughs> find ourselves here once again. The Los Angeles Dodgers and the New York Yankees have played one another a total of 88 times in MLB history. The Yankees are ahead in the all-time series record at 48 wins to 40 losses. In the regular season, each team owns a total of 11 wins over the other. The Dodgers have won the last regular season series back in June of this year, 2-1. In the postseason, in what would be the World Series, is where the Yankees hold their lead over the Dodgers, with a record of 37 wins over the boys in blue to 29 losses. The Yankees defeated the Dodgers in the 1941, 1947, 1949, 1952, 1953, 1956, 1977, and 1978 Fall Classics. The Dodgers won their previous meeting 43 years ago in the 1981 World Series in six games. The Dodgers finished the 2024 regular season with a 98 and 64 record, while the Yankees ended theirs with a 94 and 68 record. The Dodgers are led by Dave Roberts in his ninth season as the club's manager. The Dodgers have reached the postseason every year under Roberts and will be competing in their fourth Fall Classic with Roberts at the helm winning back in 2020. The Yankees are led by Aaron Boone in his seventh season as their manager. Boone actually played for the Yankees as he was traded to them at the deadline on July 31st, 2003. And in game seven of the 2003 ALCS against the Boston Red Sox, Boone hit a walk-off home run, which led to the Yankees' 6-5 win, and they punched their ticket to the 2003 World Series. This prolonged the curse of the Bambino for the Red Sox. The New York Daily News even dubbed the home run play the curse of the Boone Bino. The Yankees would ultimately go on to lose in six games to the Florida Marlins in that 03 World Series. Roberts himself also played for the team that he currently manages. He played for the Dodgers from 2002 to 2004, before being traded to the Boston Red Sox at the deadline exactly one year after Boone was traded to the Yankees. He was a member of that 2004 World Series championship team that finally broke the curse of the Bambino. After defeating the Yankees in the 2004 ALCS, in Game 4 of that series, Roberts came into pinch run in the bottom of the ninth inning facing elimination down 3-4 in the contest and facing Hall of Fame reliever Mariano Rivera at the mound. After Rivera attempted to pick Roberts off at first base three times, Roberts stole second base. His teammate Bill Miller, who was at bat, ended up hitting a single and Roberts scored from second base tying up the game and forcing extra innings. The Red Sox would ultimately go on to win that contest in 12 innings, which would be their first of eight straight wins in that postseason, defeating the Yankees in a seven-game series, then going on to sweep the St. Louis Cardinals in the Fall Classic, officially breaking the curse of the Bambino. The Yankees' last World Series win came in 2009 against the Philadelphia Phillies, where they won six games, and in the seemingly long-ago dark age that was 2020, the Dodgers won the World Series against the Tampa Bay Rays, and here we are four years later, with these two historic franchises franchises matching up for the dozenth time in the Fall Classic. So, how did their respective regular seasons shake out? Well, let's take a look at the Yankees. During the regular season, in the American League, the Yankees ranked first in runs, fourth in hits, first in home runs, Aaron Judge actually hit 58 of those, first in walks, fourth in batting average, first in on-base percentage, second in slugging, and first in on-base plus slugging. Their bullpen was first in innings pitched, fourth in ERA, third in strikeouts, second in shutouts, fourth in saves, fifth in hits allowed, seventh in runs allowed, sixth in earned runs allowed, sixth in home runs allowed, and twelfth in walks allowed. Now for the Dodgers in the regular season, in the National League, the Dodgers ranked second in runs, third in hits, first in home runs with Shohei Otani hitting 54 bombs, as well as home run derby champion Teoscar Hernandez hitting 33 throughout the season. The Dodgers ranked sixth in stolen bases with Otani stealing 59 of those, and it is the first 50-50 season in MLB history. The Dodgers were also first in walks, third in batting average, second in on-base percentage, first in slugging, and first in on-base plus slugging. The Dodgers bullpen was second in innings pitched, sixth in ERA, sixth in strikeouts, fifth in shutouts, third in saves, second in hits allowed, sixth in runs allowed, sixth in earned runs allowed, 14th in home runs allowed, and 10th in walks allowed. But any true sports fan knows that postseason is a whole new ball game. 
it is a completely different season from the regular season. So let's take a look at how these teams have done so far in the postseason. So far in the postseason, the Yankees have played nine games, 295 at-bats, 43 runs, 70 hits, Gleyber Torres leading the team with 11, 13 home runs, Giancarlo Stanton leading the team with five, 39 RBIs, also Giancarlo Stanton leading with 11, 122 total bases, 49 walks, six stolen bases, they're batting at 237, their OBP is 346, their slugging is 414, and their OPS is 759. So far, their bullpen in the postseason, in nine games, pitching 83 innings, there have been five saves, four of them by Luke Weaver, 76 hits allowed, 30 earned runs allowed, seven home runs allowed, 33 walks allowed, 81 strikeouts, 22 of those coming courtesy of Carlos Rodon, and a 327 ERA. As for the Dodgers, they played 11 postseason contests, and in those contests, 371 at-bats, 70 runs, 93 hits, 15 of those coming courtesy of Tommy Edmond, 20 home runs, four of those off of Mookie Betts' bat, 66 RBIs, 12 of those also coming from Mookie Betts, 160 61 total bases, 55 walks, Max Muncy's discipline showing as he collected 12 of those, and he set the single postseason record by reaching base in 12 consecutive plate appearances, 11 stolen bases, batting at 251 average, OBP is 351, slugging is 434, and OPS is 785. As for the bullpen in 11 games, the Dodgers have had three saves, all by Blake Trinan, 89 hits allowed, 47 earned runs allowed, 13 home runs allowed, 39 walks allowed, 80 strikeouts, 11 of those coming courtesy of Blake Trinan and a 436 ERA. Now, as for the whole World Series, according to Moneyline, the Dodgers are slightly favored to win the entire series at minus 120, while the Yankees are plus 100 underdogs. Looking ahead to game one, the Yankees will be starting right-handed pitcher Garrett Cole, who on the season has a record of 8-5 while compiling a 3.41 ERA. Cole went 1-0 in the postseason with a 3.31 ERA, winning his lone game in a 3-1 outing against the Kansas City Royals in the ALDS. He had six innings pitched, six hits allowed, one earned run allowed, and four strikeouts. On the other side, the Dodgers will be starting right-handed pitcher Jack Flaherty, who on the season has a record of 13-7 and a 3.17 ERA. Flaherty had a phenomenal Game 1 start in the NLCS against the Mets, where he pitched seven innings, allowed two hits, allowed no runs, nor earned runs, two walks allowed, and six strikeouts. He then did follow it up with a rough outing in Game 5 against the Mets, where he had three innings pitched, eight hits allowed, eight runs allowed, eight earned runs allowed, one home run allowed, and four walks allowed with zero strikeouts. In my personal opinion, I do see Flaherty bouncing back to start us off strong in Game 1 of the World Series at home. Freddie Freeman is also set to return to the lineup in Game 1 after being sat out for Game 6 of the NLCS, as Freeman has been nursing an ankle injury that he sustained against the Padres back on September 26th. I am clearly biased, but I have the Dodgers starting off strong at home and getting a hard-fought win in Game 1. Also, as a Dodgers fan, I am optimistic that they will end up winning the World Series. I predict that they will do it in six games. I hope I'm correct in my prediction so us Dodgers fans can enjoy our long overdue championship parade that we weren't able to get four years ago. And while on the subject, I have to say my condolences go out to the family of Dodgers legend El Toro himself, Fernando Valenzuela, who sadly passed away this week on October 22nd at the age of 63. Back on October 1st, it was announced that Valenzuela had been hospitalized for what has been subsequently reported as liver cancer. There will be a tribute for him and the Dodgers will be wearing a 34 patch on their uniforms to honor him. Dodgers fans, we are hoping that the club can defeat the Yankees like Valenzuela and his 81 Dodgers did 43 years ago. Let's do this for Fernando. Fernando Mania siempre. Rest in peace to Fernando Valenzuela. And now I want to hear from you. Who do you think is going to win Game 1 of the World Series? Who do you think is going to win the entire Fall Classic? Let me know down in the comments section below. I appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I hope you all enjoy the World Series. Go Dodgers!